Oh, the life is a poor sheep farmer. I'm on my way from misery to happiness to be. Okay, so it's been a while since I did a wee video. Uh, that's me back on it now. Uh, it was really busy through shearing season, etc. Uh, Could give loads of excuses, but aye. Just busy running the sheep. Uh, Trying to keep the job right. It's uh, time's your enemy. And how your days are fair drawn in. Shimby Christmas, as they say. So I've got the mic linked up to this. I'm on the GoPro the day. Hopefully, it makes for some better quality footage, better audio. Uh, today, we are getting the teasers out. So it's the uh, first today. Uh, could put me for 14 days. I deal with teasers just to explain it a bit. They're uh, basically rams that I've had a vasectomy. Same kind of idea as obviously a human getting it done, you get your wee tubes snipped or whatever. I mean, I'm no vet, but uh, aye, they get their tubes snipped. So, still got their testicles, uh, look just like a normal ram, but they're uh, firing blanks. And what that does is it brings the ooze all into season, synchronises them. Hello Meg, come on. Hey, Meg. Looking into it, I mean I'm no expert in this at all, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Um, I put them out for 14 days, then I put the tubs in straight away, and they'll catch anything that's right at the end of that cycle, and then they'll straight away catch the ones coming back in um, to cycle again. So aye, the teaser basically goes out. The tub, the yows will uh, stand for them, but because he's firing blanks, They'll obviously not be impregnated, so they'll then cycle again. And the idea is that over this 17 day period, they'll all cycle around tight, and in 17 days, they'll come back into season at the same point. And you put plenty of tubs, and the boys go on the rampage for a couple of days. Here's the boys, a couple of swarbles, and Dorset. Man, this guy's a wee bit aggressive today. This guy here doesn't like to be messed about. Hey, don't you know? Big man. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, you're strong. You're strong. Don't embarrass me in front of everybody. Ah, right, I'll let you win. I'll let you win that one, big man. Now, yeah, I know it doesn't look the most exciting, big man, but the, the owls are way up the backfield. So you'll need to go inferno, but you are raking big bugger anyway, so can you go? And things are wet, as you can see. Bonnie, Bonnie, Scotland. So this is intended, this is just going to be a wee quick video. Lighting's probably really bad, it's getting late on, I think we're about 4 o'clock in the afternoon now. To explain a bit about teasers, for folk, as I said, some folk might find it interesting. Um, if you're thinking about using a teaser, if you're laminating inside, I think it's magic. It's particularly good for, um, got a lot of bits with people with like maybe 10, 15, 20 sheep. I'd say get a teaser, because uh, I don't know, you know, when I'm scanning them, you can see there's dates ranges, maybe 30 days, 40 days between some of them, and it's a long time to be checking a small batch of sheep every day, twice a day, three times a day. When you could put them to a teaser, I mean the other option is you've got things like sponging and stuff like that. Uh, I've done that before. It's not a very enjoyable job. I think most people agree with me there. Um, it's great for sinking them obviously, but teasers are good. You can just buy a teaser, you can throw them in with the owls for a fortnight and it'll sink them all around and you should get a lambing done within sort of three weeks. I mean last year, lambed about 600 sheep and after three weeks it was maybe Dirty left or something. Uh, so it does work. It's good when it's just coming thick and fast and you're getting stuck into it and you're getting them out the door. Three weeks and it's done. See so your lamb and it drags out for you know six weeks, you get scun it. Um, and you might be going getting doing other jobs come that time of year. So I thought it was quite important to catch this next wee bit on video so that when folk ask me how I wrecked my back, I can say, look at this video. This is what I did. In fact, I just remembered I've got my gym gear in the pickup, so I'm gonna. Hey, three tears. Hey, 
safety conscious. That's me. I get up here and ringing obviously because I've still got to wait at the gym. I'm too tall here for this camera. Oh, the life is a poor sheep farmer. But when everybody asks me, Cammy, how's your aim so big? I say it's days like this, jobs like this. Some laugh, here we go. Some laugh, here's an issue. Oh, you're wild. Oh, you're wild. Oh, I know. I know you're strong, but you're not good. Oh, I'm embarrassing. I need to tip you up, big man, I'm sorry. Oh. 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 Oh, you're big. You're big and strong. Right. Right. Some laugh. A sheep game, eh? Right, big man. Hey, right, don't you flatten me. Right. Some laugh to get you up here. I never thought this through. Right, right, right. Right, right. Like an atlas stone, aren't you? What did Eddie Hall do? No, that way, anyway. Take a breather, think it through. It's all about technique. Oh, right. Right, right, right. Oh. I think all day. Let's try and dump you up on your side again. Make sure you're away from it. Too heavy, my man. Put your feet together. Right. Here we are. Don't run away. Right. Oh. Some laugh, eh? Oh, some laugh. I need to learn to stop saying eh and stuff as well, watching some videos back. One, well, one guy commented so you can understand a word, and I'm guessing that's probably because I'm Scottish, not because of the audio. Um, and there's the them again. I remember when I was at school, an English teacher gave me a row for doing that, and I did a talk in front of the class that I just made up on the spot. That's why I was saying M so much, kind of like the now, I'm just making it up as I go along. But aye, less of that. But we'll get better as we go. Hey, I just thought the lighting was bad, but the lighting is definitely bad now. It's getting dark. Hey, absolute doddle the sheep game, innit? Absolute doddle, no wonder everybody wants to do it. Hey, you'll not even be able to see this one. They just got a wee bit of audio of the big man going for it. Job done. Then click the subscribe button. Stay classy.